Do you want to make your own models using nothing but a simple Python script, learning open radius format and run a thermomechanical model with changing boundary conditions? In that case, this video is for you. What is inside a model input file? Is it possible to write your own without using any machine or preprocessing software? Stay together and you will find it out. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is our second tutorial about learning Open Radius Solver. I have coded a Python script in order to build a model to simulate incremental forming process, which consists of a plate shape workpiece and two different tools, one for each plate side. The script takes as input the dimension of the plate and the balls, materials, element types, etc. You can simulate the plate support either by fixing nodes or through contact, changing only a single variable. If we choose the last method, you are able to simulate further the release of these supports. Last but no least, you can choose to include or not thermal effects represented by heat flux on the plate due to the application of electrical current to alleviate stresses. The script also writes the toolpath or can read it from a file. We will come to this later. Let's go with it. To begin with this tutorial, you can clone the script GitHub repo or download it from the link in the description below. Once you have it, you can open a common shell or a terminal in Linux and there you type python space asdiv underscore gen dot pi. Once run, we'll open a window. If you click on the generate button and wait until it finishes, you will observe a new file named test underscore 0000.red. This is the input needed by the radius starter. You can call the starter by typing starter underscore win64 or linux64 underscore gf. To learn how to do this, follow my pre previous video. Now, if no errors are shown by the starter, it is time to run the solver engine, exactly like before but replacing the word starter with engine and changing the input to minus i test underscore zero 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 one dot rad. This dot rad file is the second output which the script generates and it hosts all the information of the run itself, like run and time, output file time, steps and output bars. When you run it like this in the shell, you will see the engine output. You can, while it's running, execute the conversion script provided by Radius. See our previous video. In order to convert the results already obtained to BTK format. To view the output files, you can open them all at once or individually. Remember that if you want to use part of you, you must first convert them to BTK format. See the previous video for this. As you can see, the plate support consists in this case of contact plates. This can be changed from the script to only fixed nodes. On the other hand, you can add or remove your output variables. For changing the problem configuration, let's study what the script is doing. Radius Starter takes an input file, which in this case is the test underscore 0000.rad. So it is the first file written, which consists of a series of keywords, all of them beginning with a slash character. You can check all the Radius Starter keywords on this link, which I will put on the description below. Each keyword is followed of a section divided by lines, with each line consisting of fields with fixed character count each. Let's see some of the starter file keywords. This is not intended to understand the overall radius workflow, but instead to give you a general idea of the model structure. First keyword is begin, which indicates the file name, version, run name, among others. Following lines indicates radius all the tool paths generated by the script. Following keyword is node, with four fields for ID and coordinates. Next one is shell, which indicates the meshes of the tools and supports, in case of including them as such. Now comes part keyword, which is followed by number represented by one in this case, and below is assigned property and material ID. Part 1 is the main workpiece plates and parts 2 and 3 will be the tools. Next keyword is GR, GR node, which indicated a group of nodes including all parts nodes. 
This is created for the contact script below. As with the word piece represented by parts 1, following keyword is shell-2, which is the mesh of the first tool, and being the number 2, the part number. That means each part can be composed of several meshes. As before, following keywords are part, and for this we will define two different node groups by share node keyword. First one will be defined with ID2 and are all of the part nodes. Second group is identified 102 and is formed by only one node, this being the center of the upper tool. First group is called by the next keyword, BCS, which defines no rotation allowed by the ball in this case. Second group is used to define a rigid body with the master node at the center and the slave nodes are being the previous group, which means all the sphere nodes. Next keyword is surf which defines a surface with all the elements of the balls, used by the contact defined by inter type 7, which is a contact of the kind master slave. This will be analyzed on following videos together with another keyword such as mat, heat, prop and imp disp. Once the model run is complete, we can see the results including effective stresses and plastic strains of the workpiece, also can analyze the shell thickness and if we apply heat flux, we could also see the temperature. All these variables can be changed together from the ancient file, which we'll see on following videos. On the next video, we will continue studying the radius format, playing with supports, changing materials, trying with temperature coupling and much more. If you like the video, hit subscribe. See you!